Solving systems by elimination. You like this method, why? Because it's violent. But in order to pull off this salvation, first we need a game plan. We're gonna need a game plan. First, we're gonna get our two equations in standard form. Then, we're gonna find additive inverses. Then, Adam. Then, back sub to find your point. Okay, now that we got the game plan set in place, let's go ahead and hit an example. Oh, first I want them in standard form. Are they? Yes, my variables are on one side. My constants are on the other. Then I need to get additive inverses. I need to pick a variable to eliminate. Here, it appears it's gonna be y. Why? Because they already have additive inverses. Additive inverses are the number that when added to the number, the sum is none. Yes, here I have a positive y and a negative y. So now that we have additive inverses, we can add them. Yes, straight on down, six and three, that gives me nine. X, Y, and minus Y gives me no Y, the desired effect. Yes, and then this is nine, fine. Finish him. I want to divide both sides by nine, this side by nine, that side by nine, and it turns out my X is gonna be one, fun. Now I want to take that value and substitute it back into one of the originals. Which one? I don't care. You want to put it in one? You want to put it in two? Mm-hmm. I think we may put it into one. Why? Because our numbers are nicer. They're smaller. So then we're gonna sub X equals one into one. Okay, that says everywhere in one, I see an X, I'm gonna put a one. Okay, yes. And then this is plus Y is equal to five. Okay, so then I have three plus Y is equal to five. Finish him. And then Y is equal to two. Oh no! I'm gonna take it to the top, right about here. Why? Because I know the solution to a system is a point. This point just happens to be one, two. Ooh, but if you don't believe me, check it, plug it back up into the originals. See if it satisfies both of those. And then a box and a flower. Let's move on to a little more harder example. Yes. I'm up here, I have them in standard form. So then what do I wanna do? I want to um, find additive inverses. So I need to pick a variable to eliminate. Which one? Why? Yeah, I wanna eliminate why? Why? Because it appears that our multiple is gonna be nicer. Yes. So how am I gonna get that to be a two? Cause I want it to be additive inverses. That means um, the same number, opposite signs. Yeah, that's right. What you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. I want to multiply this side by two, and this side by two, and when I do, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get six x plus two y is a minus twenty two. Oh, what I do to the second equation? I didn't do a dang thing. Yes, that's gonna be six x minus two y is a minus two. Adam. Sure, so I'm gonna add them straight on down. Six and six gets me 12x, no y, and then this is a minus, wait for it, 24. Okay. Finish him. Yeah, I'm gonna divide both sides by 12. Yes, and when I do this, it appears to me that x is going to be a minus two. Uh-huh, so I'm gonna take that minus two and I'm gonna sub it back up into one of the originals. If I was to call this one, one, and this one, two, which one of the originals do you want to plug that into? Why don't we plug it into one? Sub x equals minus two into one. Okay, why? Um, my numbers are nicer. So that says in one, three times, everywhere I see an x, I put a minus two plus y is a minus 11. No, that's my original. So then I see I got a minus six plus y is a minus 11. So then I'm gonna add six to both sides. Here it is, there's that six and there's that six. I add them and I find that y is gonna be a minus five. So wait, wait, what's my point? My point is a solution to a system is a point. Okay, and here this point is minus two, minus five. And then what? Yeah. 
a box, and a flower.